this is Camel TV. Today for lunch is pizza stick salad with ranch, grape tomatoes, and a fruit cup. Here's Paige with the flitch. Today is neon shining like a star. Tomorrow is where your favorite shades. Wednesday, wacky Wednesday, forego all fashion sense like they do in Hollywood. Go crazy. Thursday, dress as your favorite celebrity. Friday, no school, sleep in like a sled. Here are some fun things coming up. Muffins for moms will be Thursday, May 2nd. On Friday, May 3rd, we'll have our field day. And a color run. Here is Gracie interviewing our for our community. Hi, welcome to Camel TV. Thank you. Can I ask you a few questions? Absolutely. Do you think you could tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I uh, I'm 31 and I'm a registered nurse. I've been a registered nurse for uh, going on five years now. Uh, I have two children. I'm married. Uh, I've lived in Arkansas for the past 10 years. So, what else would you like to know? Anything else? Well, my dad works in Arkansas and my mom has four children. Well, big families are very nice. <laughs> Rewarding, but tough. Yeah, really tough. How many years do you go to school and become a nurse? I went to school for four years working towards my degree. Uh, you can become a nurse in a shorter amount of time or a longer amount of time depending on how uh, high a level of education you desire, but four is about average. I never knew that. That's very interesting. What was it like to work in the ER? Uh, working in the ER is a fast-paced environment. Uh, you have often a lot of people coming in and uh, all manner of complaints and conditions, anything from a sore throat to uh, people who require life-saving measures such as CPR or doing chest compressions on people and uh, you never know when someone who's very, very critically ill is going to come in. It can happen at any time and sometimes people who come in with very small complaints like a sore throat or just a odd complaint of pain, once they've arrived, then their condition will become very bad and then they become one of the very sick people and it's very surprising, but that's the nature of it. You never know. That's very really sad. Well, it's good to be in a position to help those people when they need it. What's the best part about your job? Uh, probably, probably the satisfaction of seeing a patient have a good outcome, knowing that they uh, came to the right place when they needed to and that we were able to figure out what was going on and help them be in a position to treat it and get well and get back to life as they, life as they know it. I don't know life as they know it. I can't remember. <laughs> Well, ideally, ideally we'd be pain-free, happy, smiling, and uh, and everything would be going our way. That's the goal. <laughs> what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I love to go fishing. I love to go fishing. Uh, there's not many things I don't enjoy in the outdoors. I, I'll go hiking, uh, horseback riding, uh, just just almost anything. I love being outside. That's my brother and my sister. Lots to do, lots of fulfillment. Well, thanks for having us. Thank you. Great job, Gracie. Now let's go to Harmony for the attendance.
Play. <laughs> At recess. Let's go. <laughs> so here are some kids. Uh, yeah, here's the basketball. We get to listen to music because we're cool. Here's the basketball court. Men and women playing uh, basketball. <laughs> And there's Ashton. You missed. And that's where they play kickball. Yeah. Yeah, and people sit by the tree for shade. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh wait, what happened? Okay, anyways, um, that's the volleyball where they play volleyball net. Um, the, usually the volleyball girls practice over there. Here's the kickball field. Everyone loves this. Okay. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, um, here, those are the strings, but there's no one at, okay, yeah, there's one person going for the strings. Oh, this, yeah. Oh, more uh, people at the tree. Yes. And then over here. Yes, this is our new addition to our beautiful playground. It's uh, the soccer field. Okay. They like to practice soccer. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. See. Oh. Those. That's a little rock field over there. Um, can you tell us what your favorite thing about Camel TV is? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking funny videos, yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, hey Jaden. Hi. What's your favorite thing about Camel TV? Getting um, to watch it. I just like to enjoy the people. God. I just like to watch <laughs> the people goof off and, you know. I just like it. Okay. Thank, thank, yeah. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, right. no, it's right there. And so here's the playground one more time. Okay. And here is the playground one more time. Um, yep. The basketball 
to the volleyball, to the swings, and the soccer fields. Everything's just wonderful. Bye! This is the last week we are going to do Camel TV. I hope you enjoy our show. See you next year. Bye! Bye. Thank you, Mr. Foster, for letting us do Camel TV this year. Thank you all for your encouragement. Thank you, Ms. Weinvenner, for all the great ideas. <laughs> Thank you to all the people we interviewed. Oh, oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, uh, all the teachers, for letting us get out of class to do this. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Thank you all for all your effort you put in. Wow.